Leaders are looking through a lot of applications for ARPA funding following last Friday's deadline. Chris Bryant has more on just how many applications the county received and how one business used the funds it got in a previous round. 257 applications were received during the latest round of ARPA funding. Greene County will distribute $2.5 million in total. And with the amount of applications that came in, we're actually slightly over our budget in terms of request. So I think it was a very successful program in terms of the amount of applications we received. Lyle Foster is the ARPA Community Grant Specialist for Greene County. He says the average amount of money requested per applicant comes out to more than what's available. The actual application amount requested is the average amount is just under $12,000. Businesses had to be licensed before March 1st of 2020 and have less than 100 employees to be eligible this round. Home-based businesses and small businesses were strongly encouraged to apply this time around. They had to prove they suffered negative impacts from the COVID-19 public health emergency. Devin Botcher, who owns Botcher's Service and Supply, got ARPA funds in August of 2022. He says the money was a lifeline to his cleaning supply business. When we received the, the ARPA funding, it was a huge relief. Uh, it's, it's like seeing, it's like, almost like winning the lottery. With supply costs still nearly 20% higher than before COVID, Botcher was eligible to apply again this time around. You're expecting to stay in the business and that it's going to offer a relief. That way you can continue as business as normal. We, we were able to keep our doors open, for getting, getting this money. Botcher knows even if he's not selected, the money could possibly save another small business in Greene County. Now the waiting to see if more money will come this go around. I'm hopeful, for, but if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. We will survive and we will be here. The next step is to finish reviewing all of the applications, submit those to the Greene County Commission who will make a final decision and award the checks. In Springfield, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.